All right. Now, Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary claims one from Kerala and one from Punjab. There are two new election commissioners who have been appointed. In fact, these are words of Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, the leader of opposition. One from Kerala includes Gyanesh Kumar and the other from Punjab is Sukhbir Singh Sandhu. Two new names have been selected, new people have been selected. Their names have been zeroed in from a list of over 200. Five of them were shortlisted and out of that, two names for election commissioners have uh, been announced by Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. We're waiting for a confirmation on that, but I'm going to cut across to Aishwarya Paliwal joining us live for more on that. Aishwarya, this is the new system for the first time under this new law where uh, the Prime Minister, the Law Minister and a leader of opposition collectively uh, who formed a committee to select an election commissioner. Two of them who have been appointed, two names have surfaced as per Adhir Ranjan. Is this a confirmation? Well, definitely, you know, because it was Adiranjan who was sitting inside and he also spoke about at length the fact that he was given a list of 200 names out of which there were five and then from those five, the two have finally been selected. In fact, I'm standing, Nabila, right outside Prime Minister's house. This is exactly the place where the crucial meeting took place and now we have two names, two names that have come out. These are the new ECs and now what we will see is the quorum will be complete. That means one CEC plus two election commissioners, the people will be set and these are the people, Nabila, let me tell you in the next couple of days from what we're understanding will be the ones who will be announcing the very crucial Lok Sabha election dates and this is the new system we will see going forward how this is the panel which will make sure that they come up with names and those people will later become the CEC and the ECs the new system has now finally kicked in the quorum is complete now Navila it is the chief election commissioner Rajiv Kumar along with the two newly appointed ECs they are the ones who will now be announcing the crucial dates for the Lok Sabha elections Navila. All right. Well, uh, that's precisely the point here that uh, the country is waiting for. Announcement of election dates. When exactly is the 2024 Lok Sabha elections going to be held across the nation? Uh, we saw Arun Goel, who resigned very surprisingly, and that left the post vacant. Uh, do tell us a little more on the, the confusion that it may have occurred. Arun Goel's resignation itself... Uh, what did it really do to the Election Commission's office? And uh, we believe that the panel here has rushed into announcing these two names. Do take us through the process of it. Well, Nabila, let me tell you, you know, if we speak about the ECI, they were all set to announce the dates. They are fully ready and that's exactly what even CEC spoke about when he was visiting various states. Over the past one month, the Election Commission has visited close to six states, making sure that they speak with the people there and also making sure that the states are all set for the big 2024 elections. Arun Goel's papers that he put down actually was extremely swift. In the next 24 hours, we will see the new names coming up and with that, Nabila, let me tell you, Chief Election Commissioner, that is Rajiv Kumar, plus the two ECs, because that is how, uh, you know, they sit and that is how the election announcement is done. We did see how there was, uh, over the past few days, the opposition party specifically speaking about the fact that they believe all is not right in the Election Commission. But now, with the two names coming up, it seems like everything is well on track. And from what we also understand from ECI sources, Nabila, let me tell you, in the next three to four days, the new dates for the elections will be announced by the Election Commission. Uh, we also understand uh, that Rajiv Kumar, the CEC is all set, all the preparations have been done, the states have been told, all the due diligence is being done. Now the only thing that is pending is the announcement of the elections. Nabila. All right, so two names that have been announced by Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. One is Gyanesh Kumar, another is Sukhbir. Now, Gyanesh Kumar's photograph that we have, uh, we're flashing on our screens there. He is supposedly from Kerala, as per Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. And he's retired from the post of Secretary of the Ministry of Corporation, was heading it ever since uh, the formation of that ministry itself. Uh, he has worked very closely with Home Minister Amit Shah too. Um, let me quickly cut across to Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary himself, confirming these two names. Let's hear it. ये गोयल साहब की नियुक्ति की समय हमारे सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने यह टिप्पणी किए थे कुछ आये दिए थे कि लाइटनिंग स्पीड में उनको नियुक्ति किए गए थे और वो ऐसा ही लाइटनिंग स्पीड में भी वो भी निकल गए रिजिनेशन डाल दिए एक लाइटनिंग स्पीड में वो आए और डिजिटल स्पीड में वो चले गए और बीच में हम इधर जाए Election Commissioner 
को तो इसमें चयन हुई एक तो केरल के मिस्टर मोहेश बल्के और एक पंजाब के मिस्टर संधू बल्के All right. Now I'm cutting back to Ashwarya. Ashwarya, we heard Adi Ranjan Chaudhary speaking, where he actually declares the two names, Gyanesh Kumar and Sukhbir Singh Sandhu. He also says the panel came in in full speed and rushed out in full speed. Uh, do take us through exactly what he was trying to insinuate. Well, we have seen Navila how the opposition party, specifically the Congress party, time and again have been speaking about the fact that the ECI, the Election Commission, has been compromised. They have been pointing fingers at Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the Bharatiya Janata Party, trying to say that it is the BJP which is now controlling the ECI. The ECI time and again has come out and said that they make sure that all the parties get get a say, and that is exactly what also take takes takes place. Uh, you know, whenever the, uh, we we see all the parties. sitting there but this is not what the opposition has been speaking about we also saw how adhiranjan choudhury is now trying to say that this was a very quick meeting but let me tell you the meeting lasted for at least 45 minutes and also the names were actually given to the leader of the opposition he did say that he got a list of 200 names out of those 200 uh, the list that was shortlisted was five names and from those five names finally we have these two names we also understand uh, that we will see them taking oath very soon we don't know when but in the next 24 to 48 hours navila that is what we understand at the moment with that the quorum will be over but yes adhiranjan choudhury and the congress party still pointing fingers at the bharatiya janata party and saying that this was two is to one and also saying that these names were given to him a lengthy list 200 people been given to him and he was not able to go through all the names but yes also saying that two people have finally been finalized they will the one they, they will be the ones the bila who will now become the election commissioners making sure that the trio is complete all right you know uh, for now these are the two names that have been finalized are we expecting an official announcement itself from any of the members leader of opposition adhiranjan choudhury uh, has already announced it but in a very uh, sarcastic way but uh, are we expecting a formal announcement by, uh, by the election commission chief itself no announcement will be made by cec however we will see uh, uh, you know a gadget coming out nabila and through that we will know that the two new election commissioners will be that the election commissioners will then have to go to eci and then uh, you know one of the first things that they will do and that's what we understand at the moment is to make sure that they are given a full lowdown of everything that has been done till date once they are given the lowdown after that they will be all set for the big pc the big pc that everyone is very keenly looking at be it the opposition parties be it the bjp everyone now keenly looking at the number of phases and also looking at when exactly the election will begin all those things will be done once the formal announcement is being made once the election commissioners step into the eci one of the crucial things that with that uh, you know they will be done is that they'll be given a full lowdown of all the states and of everything that has been done till date the only thing remaining kabila will be the announcement of the big 2024 elections All right thanks very much Ashwarya for joining us on that two names have been announced by the leader of opposition Gyanesh Kumar who is a 1988 batch uh, IAS officer from Kerala and the other from Punjab Sukhbir Singh Sandhu two new election commissioners who have been announced our reporters confirming that uh, well we're hoping now to hear an announcement on when Lok Sabha election dates to come about soon